Math 5 Quarter 3 Week 5 Milk Base Let's learn about Solid Figures Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Math 5, we will discuss about solid figures. For our most essential learning competencies, visualizes and describes solid figures. And make models of different solid figures like cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and spear using plain figures. In this lesson, you will visualize and describe solid figures and make models of different solid figures. As a learner, you are expected to A. Identify the different solid figures B. Visualize the solid figures and how to make solid figures And C. Describe the attributes of solid figures and enjoy their functional use in their daily life. Have you seen an architect? Is architecture and architect the same? What are the shapes used by the architects to build buildings? There were different three-dimensional shapes around us. There were many solid objects. Can you identify one? Most of the objects around us have three dimensions. Length, width, and height. Solid figures are three-dimensional figures. A three-dimensional object has length, width, and height. Moreover, they may have faces, edges, and vertices. A face is a flat surface of a solid figure. An edge is formed when two faces meet. An edge is a straight line segment. A vertex is a point where vertex meet. Solid figures are either polyhedron or non-polyhedron. A solid polyhedron if all its faces are polygons, otherwise if it is a non-polyhedron. A polyhedron may be a prism or a pyramid. A prism is made up of two parallel and congruent bases which can be any polygon. The other faces are parallelograms. A prism is named after the shape of its base. If its base is a triangle, it is called a triangular prism. If it is a pentagon, it is called a pentagonal prism. A pyramid has only one base, which can also be any polygon. The other faces are triangles which meet at a common vertex. A pyramid is also named after the shape of its base. If the base is a square, we call it square pyramid. If the base is a triangle, we call it a triangular pyramid. If the base is an octagon, we call it an octagonal pyramid. Let's study the examples of solid figures. Cube Triangular prism Square pyramid Rectangular prism Spear Triangular pyramid Cylinder and Cone Here are the faces, edge, and vertex of a solid figure. Let's study them. Cube The number of faces is 6 Number of edge is 12 And number of vertex is 8 Triangular prism 
Number of faces, 5. Number of edge, 9. And number of vertex, 6. Triangular pyramid, number of faces, 4. Number of edge, 6. Number of vertex, 4. Square pyramid, number of faces, 5. Number of edge, 8. And number of vertex, 5. Rectangular prism. It has 6 faces, 12 edge, and 8 vertex. Spear. It has 0 faces or none faces. It has no edge, and it has no vertex. Cylinder. It has 3 faces. It has 2 edge, and 0 vertex. And the cone has one face, one edge, and one vertex. Based on the previous lesson, you have identified the different solid figures. Every solid figure has a pattern. The images that are drawn on a paper are indeed plain figures. Let's try to make a net for the solid figures. A net is a flat pattern that when folded and taped together, builds a solid. This is net of a cube. How many faces that cube have? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 faces. This is a net of a cylinder. How many surfaces has a cylinder? Let's count. One, two, three. There were three surfaces. Net of a cone. Does the cone has an edge? None. It has no edge. Net of a rectangular prism. How many vertices has a rectangular prism? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8. There were 8 vertices. Net of a pyramid. What is the base of the given pyramid? So this is the base of the given pyramid, which is the square. To learn more about this topic, let us do the following activities. Learning Task 1. Identify the solid figure for each object by matching column A to column B. Write the letters of your answers on the space provided. Number 1. Box of a soap. What is the solid figure of this object? A. Cone B. Cube C. Cylinder D. Pyramid E. Rectangular prism or F. Spear What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter E, rectangular prism. Number 2, camera stand. What is the solid figure of this object? Very good! The correct answer is letter D, pyramid. Number 3, Christmas ornament. What is the solid figure of this object? Very good! The correct answer is letter F, spear. Number 4, dice. What is the solid figure of this object? Very good! The correct answer is letter B, cube. Number 5, domino. What is the solid figure of this object? Very good! The correct answer is Letter E, rectangular prism. Number 6, drum. What is the solid figure of this object? Very good. The correct answer is letter C, cylinder. Number 7, full moon. What is the solid figure of this object? Very good. The correct answer is letter F, spear. Number 8, Ice cream holder. What is the solid figure of this object? Very good. The correct answer is A. 
cone. Number 9. Mount Mayon. What is the solid figure of this object? Very good! The correct answer is letter A, cone. And number 10, soccer ball. What is the solid figure of this object? Very good! The correct answer is letter F, spear. For learning task 2, match each of the following 3D shapes on column A to the appropriate net in column B. Write the letters of your answers on the space provided. Number 1 figure is a cube. What is the appropriate net for this figure? Very good! The answer is letter B. Number 2. This figure is a pyramid. What is the appropriate net for this figure? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Number 3. Rectangular prism. What is the appropriate net for this figure? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Number 4. Triangular prism. What is the appropriate net for this figure? Very good! The correct answer is letter E. And number 5. Cylinder. What is the appropriate net for this figure? Very good! The correct answer is letter D. For learning test 3, identify each solid figure. Write the answer on the space provided. Number 1. What kind of solid figure is this? Very good! This is a rectangular prism. Number 2. What kind of solid figure is this? Very good! This is a cube. Number 3. What kind of solid figure is this? Very good! This is a cone. Number 4. What kind of solid figure is this? Very good! It is a cylinder. And number 5. What kind of solid figure is this? Very good! It is a triangular pyramid. For learning task 4, make models of the following solid figures using cartolina. Number 1. Make a cube. Number 2. Make a rectangular prism. Number 3. Make a pyramid. Number 4. Make a cylinder. And number 5. Make a cone. Use the following net as your guide. Learning Task 5 Give the number of faces, edges, and vertices of the following objects and identify the solid figure each object resembles. Number 1. Ball The solid figure is Spear Faces 0 Edges 0 Vertices 0 Number 2. Globe. Solid figure is Spear. Faces 0. Edges 0. Vertices 0. Number 3. Funnel. Solid figure is Cone. Faces 1. Edges 1. Vertices 1. Number 4. Test tube. Solid figure is a cylinder, faces 3, edges 2, vertices 0. Number 5, tent, solid figure, rectangular pyramid, faces 5, edges 8, vertices 5. Number 6, dice, solid figure, cube. Faces 6, edges 12, vertices 8. Number 7, ice cream cone, solid figure, cone, 
faces one edges one vertices one number eight tin can solid figure cylinder faces three edges two vertices zero number nine party hat solid figure cone faces one edges one and vertices one and number 10 shoe box solid figure rectangular prism faces six edges 12 vertices eight so kids do you understand our lesson today wow good job kids i hope you learn a lot from this lesson until our next topic bye bye kids Thanks for watching!